actually, yeah, it was coming up a lot. And I like the sweet uh, Asian brother from yesterday. I felt very touched by what he said, and I recognized and I cried because I also have that deep, deep aspiration and longing that I want to help, I want to be an instrument mm -hmm. of God. And mm -hmm. this longing is very strong. It's really strong. I mm -hmm. sometimes just cry and, and to myself be an to sleep. an instrument of God, you have to become completely empty of you. Yeah. You see? But even just I wake up in the night and I just like, oh, I want to be an instrument. I almost don't have... Mm. It's, it's so much there. Yeah, I'm yes. Not. Don't trust this too much. No? Because, no. <laughs> <laughs> because sometimes what happens, it sounds nice up to a bit, no? Because sometimes also you, you, you want to help someone, you see someone sitting on the side of the road. You say, oh, he's hungry. You go and get him, you know, nice piece of pizza. Hey, brother, hey, bro, please eat, please eat. You're hungry, eat. No, no, I'm not hungry. I want a cigarette. <laughs> you say, cigarette? I'm not buying you a cigarette. You see? I want to eat pizza. I don't want pizza. I want a beer. Beer? You're not having beer. So how, how are you going to help? You're going to give him what he wants or what you think he should have? I always give uh, usually food or a blanket. Yeah. But I will uh, also... Uh, <laughs> and One friend, he told me that, that this he said, when I was at university, we didn't have much money at all, and um, when I went home at a break, I went to see my father, and I was sitting with my father, and my father said to me, because I said, I don't have much money, and my father said to me, he said, if you come and you have absolutely no money, and, it's, it's, and your, your stomach, you're so hungry, and um, in that moment, uh, if it comes between, you know, getting something to eat and satisfy your stomach and, and, and getting cigarettes, do the wise thing and buy the cigarettes. <laughs> you see? You see, now look at her face. <laughs> How you are. <laughs> they have a choice, no? Like that. You say, but no, no, that's not good. You should, that's very irresponsible. You should get some food. But the father said, no, the food will only last ten minutes. The cigarette will last two, three, four hours. <laughs> you see? Then it may not satisfy your projection about doing good. There's so many different standards. Also, people dying of cancer, they say also they're dying, the last day in hospice, now they're dying of cancer. And they tell them, you can't smoke. <laughs> oh, let me enjoy the last few. <laughs> The last, the, the last few days, I mean, come on, I'm going anyway. I'll be more quickly off your back. You have a free bed in two days rather than three. Come on. No, no. It's, uh, you, you look, smoking has got you to this place in the first place. <laughs> How are you going to help them, these people? So this is why you have to be totally empty. And then you see if there are uh, people to help in this way. Hmm? I have many questions that I do when I'm here now. I take my time because you are a divine enlightened master and in being that you have an overview who can see. Um, and I really wonder about uh, this so-called uh, new world order and I'm also worrying about this. <laughs> oh my and God. <laughs> this, this, uh, Where are you going to find time for freedom? Eh? But can you... Can you do something about it? Because they are polluting the air and the water and the food we eat. And so therefore, you better wake up it? quick. Yes, <laughs> I want to do that. Easy. Yeah. But can you please tell me? Can we stop them? Will it be stopped by itself? Can you just do like some magic and? Shh. <laughs> yeah, but they have also freedom. The consciousness is playing behind every face. The consciousness somehow is playing this. We like to think that only the consciousness should do the good thing and the devil do the bad thing. Does the devil and demons exist? Uh, yes, they do actually. On some level, you know, in some ways of seeing it is true like that. And in other ways of seeing it's not necessary to see in that way. 
Because these guys are really crazy, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then, mm. yeah. And uh, can we do something to stop well, it? Well, they are crazy because we are stupid also. <laughs> we are a big team. Don't waste time over these things, realize the truth of yourself. That's not selfish, that is the most unselfish thing, in fact. But you must trust it, otherwise your mind will use these examples to stop you from realizing yourself. You will be too busy trying to stop putting out fires and not putting out the fire of your own mind. It's a very seductive thing, all this thing, the concern for the world, let's save the world, you know, wait, God can wait, uh, enlightenment can wait, let's come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. But isn't that the good thing? Because God is the love and the, that's the, the resides so strongly in the heart that wish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If you trust my words, follow them. That's why I'm here. Again and again and again. Mm. I wouldn't have been here if I don't trust your words. Yeah, and apply and you will see. I am not unconcerned about the world. No. So, yeah, I have your words, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it depends what you call okay. Yeah. Depends what you call okay. Maybe what you call okay, what I call okay, maybe a bit different. Hmm? But uh, in the big picture of things, all is okay, all is fine. I come to see that sometimes. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> the world that is uh, somehow conceived in the mind of men has to fail so that uh, the human being can aspire for what is everlasting and true. This world cannot come to an end. It's not at the mercy of men. Hmm? One time someone asked Papaji, when will mankind be free? And he said, when mankind becomes kind man. What is kind man? Only one who knows himself. One every now and again. Even one now and again sheds enough light. <clears throat> to raise the consciousness of many, many beings. Who is that one? Why not you? When you are sufficiently empty, then you become a suitable vessel for the, the manifestation or the embodiment of that. But while you are still filling yourself, uh, the light has no chance, the light within your own self. The world will not change by force. Of course, some change will happen, but it will not be lasting. Understanding is very important, and that we see human beings who are themselves the evidence of truth not just talking about truth, not just good intentions, but who is the light of truth itself. Whoever it is whose hearts and mind are turned towards the realization of truth, for me, they are the cream of the world, for me. But other people have different ideas also. Because any other thing pursued is pursuing transience. Nothing is stable. That is the creation of the body mind. But even the body mind itself is not stable. Find that in yourself which is unchanging, which is pure. 
all that you really seek is there. And we want to see if these words can be proven here. Why not here? Where is a better place? When is a better time than now? We are here together looking at this. In the energy field of satsang, supported by beings who are called by the same voice, is the best chance. Even unconsciously, our getting together support each other's um, aspiration for that. So don't waste time about other things, about what the world looks like, what's going to happen with the world, because these things just trouble your mind, makes it very busy and incapable of plunging within. You see, Leave that for the moment. The world can spare you for a few days to look into yourself. But isn't it very good to pray? Like after when I come back home, because when one is aware of that is happening, one can at least pray and send good thoughts. Is that helping? This is always good. Yeah. Good thoughts is, is very, very good. They are just as powerful as bad thoughts are powerful. Good thoughts are more powerful. Could we pray together for the uni in Syria? For the? <clears throat> the uni is there in Ecuador, where I come from. Mm -hmm. They want to drill. There is the last remaining uh, pure nature, mm. almost. And, and the prayer Syria. you make for one person or one tribe, with the same energy, you can pray for the whole world. Mm. Okay, I'll it's, pray it, it's it's my tear of you to not exclude. Why just this group? Why not everything then? But not that uh, the world becomes better to suit the, your projection. You see, and if you want to bless the world, uh, empty yourself of your own projections, and that will be blessing enough. Mm. The, un, until I reach the state. What stops you? I guess I don't believe strongly enough that I'm there yet. Mm -hmm. And that belief system is so deeply rooted, so I need to work with that somehow. Belief must be supported. Belief or disbelief is supported by belief. Something is like that. You, you know, you can say, "Well, I just don't believe enough," but the, the self does not need belief. The openness, maybe. There may be some urge within, even by sitting in a place like this. Uh, innumerable forces, forces from every direction. Don't worry about that. Forces from every direction is in support of your realization. You are not alone in that. And because if a human being somehow opens their heart in such a full way to realize the truth, not for selfish reasons, not because you want to become a guru, not because you want to, oh, I want to save the world, but simply because you are called inwardly to, to, to come towards, to move into, to surrender to that which you know intuitively, you sense intuitively, and this is the, this is the totality, this is the allness. This is the pure, this is the perfect, this is the truth, this is holiness, this is God, this is life, this is my own self. Uh, then the universe must support your, your, your aspiration. But if you divide yourself and say, well, I put one foot in the door while I kind of do some business outside, then you will also divide your power. Until then. <laughs> I cannot accept until then, you see? I cannot accept until then. You know, 
until then means you know a little bit more time to be ignorant please be nice about it <laughs> you see until i am ready to be free i will stay a bit ignorant please help me in my ignorance to help others <laughs> no what is this you see it's 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 not a truth it's not your truth why something is putting it off you see until then you know i'm not yet established in that you know so until then please could you help me to do this well, how do you break patterns then what is the best by following what i'm pointing mm. you want to stay as a human being a superhuman being to do superhuman things i'm pointing you to your being you see that doesn't really have to do anything but that's not appealing to your present state of mind because the, you have a mind that wants to do things wants to change things and wants to make things a certain way and we don't see that uh, there's a certain amount of delusion even in that although it may appear to be so beautiful and so kind but if you don't then at some point it's going to start swimming up to the surface and you realize you're in your your you're in above your 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 depth there yeah. you see it can sound a bit irresponsible oh don't care about i don't say don't care about the world say find yourself that's your primary leave the world to god for now go and find your own because some people are so busy oh they are doing so much for the world they're doing so much for the world you know you want to say well you know what was god doing all this time before you came along <laughs> is it But it's like everything. You are the expert, right? I'm not you the expert <laughs> in nothing at all. <laughs> it's like you, if somebody is a professional surfer, it's not like, yeah, come on, you can just do this. It's like it takes time to get there. The self is not a surfer. It's not surfing <laughs> no. on anything. <laughs> uh, you have some very some ideas which which are really untested ideas. and uh, you seem to be giving a lot of energy to them mm. like it takes time and you know it takes time but this is not the attitude if you want to be free hmm? uh, suppose you only had 5 minutes 10 minutes of your life left hmm? which world are you going to save now do you know you even have 10 minutes how generous how do you know you see I say like this so you can bring your attention fully to you know to the real opportunity you have to to plunge and to find uh, that uh, which something is delaying you see it's feeling that you know but how can I while you know the world is on fire I can you know let me save the world first and I come back and be free after you see it's not uh, it's not a truthful I think it sounds very compassionate no and i don't say don't help where help can be offered it will come you will know your time you will know in this moment is my time to act you see this is your real action also now okay okay let that uh, let your mind marinate in that a little bit and we'll see have to ask that and then I'm finished I'm sorry and if demons does exist what is the best protection towards it stay as the self but until you are in the self until you see again <laughs> until you're in the self where is the self but seriously um, uh, like where I'm serious <laughs> I am very sure I'm serious as a heart attack on this one. <laughs> you are <laughs> yeah. mm. 
You see, you don't as yet see it and I want to drive it into your head and you can go and sit with this for, for a bit. You see, you keep saying, but until I get to this place, and it seems genuine enough, almost seems almost, almost honest, you see, but I'm hitting at that and saying, this is the very cause of all the trouble, because something is postponing. You see. Babaji say like this also, you can be searching for the truth, searching for lifetimes, but if avoidance is at the root of your seeking, you will not find the freedom. Sometimes, uh, you know, something seems like it's searching, it seems like it's, but when it gets to the very door and it's opening, it will delay and say, um, just one moment. Even people have come also to satsang, travel across the world also to come in search of freedom and, oh, there's only this left and, oh, this, oh thank you, I'm so happy to be here. Okay, sit down, let's look and we start to look and then I see, they start to see where is the resistances and where is their, their, their insecurities and their protection for their person. And something backs away in this. This is why it's so important to come to satsang, actually. You start to see where all, all the stuff, you've piled up a lot of stuff in your room, a lot of things that you have to clean before, you, know, before you, can, you can be a host to the Lord itself. Look, I can, don't come today. I, I am still, you know, cooking for all the people, poor people, you know. So come tomorrow, I'm cooking. You put a lot of things in your room, and you only have to empty it, how to be empty of it, and not even to go and sweep up everything, but to turn your attention away from this now. That is empty enough. You see, something is insisting still. You see, and you know, but until. And that until can be until next life, the next birth, until the next time, until the next century. We have been at it. We are, we are all timers of death and life. Be careful of what seems like an innocent thought. And this thing I see, it's not good. It's until you will never come to that point that say, be still. It's always, but until I get there. You see, and this is a postponement of an opportunity. You're here with me. I have nothing more deep to share with you than this. And you're saying to me, yes, but until I, I'm not there yet, hmm? where is there? How, how many meters, how many centimeters to there? I am not there yet. So show me how much distance to there. And then we'll calculate how much time is needed and what's the best what's the best transportation to take if it's far where is there i am until i get there i'm not there yet so until i'm there show me what i can do now i say no because then i am colluding with you to cheat your own self out of your timelessness and this i will not do where is there the there is here Take, throw the tea away. There is here. Don't be talking uh, this. Uh, yeah, but until I get there, there is here. How are you going to deny here? You trust this voice too much. See, it's belittling yourself. Belittling yourself. You know, I am not there yet. No, I, I, it's not easy. That's not so easy. Until the time come that I'm there, what can I do now? I say no, no. I don't. I cannot help you. It will only pretend like helping, it's not help. I want to show you where you don't need help actually, except in being clear in yourself as to what you are. And this is here now, it is now. It is. What are we missing, you see? Hmm? Wars will not be over like this. Sufferings will not be over like this. Poverty will not be over like this. And isn't you missed the point also. There's a time for poverty for everybody, and there's a time for sickness for everyone, there's a time for war for everybody. It's part of the culture that returns us to ourselves sometimes. It doesn't sound good. We like to get there on sort of like uh, sugar almonds and uh, puff cakes. We like that idea, but it doesn't. Hmm?
I don't want you to cheat yourself. What I'm speaking about, uh, the solution, if you want to say, for all of this that is that is you're hurting you, which is causing you pain, the answer, the way, is right here. But something is turning away from it. Hmm? Don't trust that thing. Thank you for your patience. Thank you.